I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore inverse of exponential function. Question here is, first part, sketch the inverse of function f of x equals to 2 to the power of x which represents exponential function. And then we will explain why inverse of exponential function is a function, right? And third part is, write domain and range of the inverse relation, okay? So let's start with sketching the function first, right? And then we will sketch inverse of this function. 2 to the power of x, as we know, is always rising and it's a function which is kind of like this, where the y-intercept is always 1 since anything to the power of 0 is 1. And then we have a horizontal asymptote here, right, which is x-axis. So as far as the function is concerned, what is the domain for the function? Domain is x belongs to real numbers, right? And how about the range? Range is y also belongs to real numbers, but y is greater than 0, right? So it is always positive greater than 0. So that is domain range. Now, if I have to sketch inverse of this function, then what will happen? So, in inverse, what happens? Few things happen. If x and y are our coordinate points, then in inverse, they flip. It becomes y and x. That is first thing, right? So you could actually sketch it on the same graph also. If I draw a line y equals to x, and if I reflect it on this line, I will get inverse of the function. So reflecting will mean this point will come here, and this asymptote becomes vertical asymptote here. So I get a function which is kind of like this. And this function will be inverse of my function, right? So that is how it is going to be. So that is the graph of the function. Now, we need to write domain range of inverse function. So since we flip x and y values, so it is expected that the domain and range will also flip, right? So that's the key idea. And you can use this concept for any function. So write down domain range for the function. The inverse function domain range will flip, right? So it becomes, domain of the function will become like this, which is x belongs to real numbers, where x is greater than zero, right? So earlier it was the range. Range becomes the domain. And earlier domain becomes the range of our inverse function. So there is no restriction on the range this time. As you can see, range, it is going from minus infinity towards positive infinity as far as range is concerned, right? So that is how we can figure out the domain and range of the function, right? One important part here was whether the inverse will be a function or not. Now, in this case, explain why the inverse of exponential function is a function. If I draw a horizontal line, it will only intersect at one point, and therefore, inverse will be a function. So, for this, the reason is it will pass horizontal line test. Right? The function is always increasing, just going in one direction, so it passes horizontal line test. And since it passes horizontal line tests, its inverse will always be a function. I hope that helps to bring all the things together. And now you are in a position to take the test. Thank you and all the best.